Hey guys, Prince Sports here. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. Now, I want to take you guys back to 2006. Okay, um, a rookie under the name of Brandon Roy was drafted. He became rookie of the year, and he had a five-year career playing in the NBA, basically. And within that five years, this dude became a three-time All-Star within five years, all right? Averaging 21.5 points a game, 4.7 assists, and 4.4 um, rebounds a game, all right? The dude was ahead of his time, for sure. And you can only hope but just sometimes sit back and think of what will Brandon Roy would have been? Like, um, what would his career have been like if he never had that injury, that career ending injury? I often think that, I can't say he would have won championships because it's a team accomplishment, but I can tell you this much. If they did want a championship, Brandon Roy would have been a number one option on that team if they did want a championship. And the dude was a flat-out beast ahead of his time to a point that even Kobe Bryant, a guy that really doesn't admit much about uh, other players, him or Jordan don't really admit much, especially Michael Jordan. But Kobe said back in 2010 that Brandon Roy was the hardest player ever to guard, you know, for himself because um, 300 and 365 days a year, Brandon Roy was a problem guarding he had no flaws. These are the words of Kobe Bryant. So this guy gave Kobe Bryant fits because um, according to Kobe, he had no weakness. You know, and on the offensive end, he was um, he was pretty good, man. Um, he could shoot the three ball. He could shoot mid-range. He could attack the basket because of his size. was kind of stocky. So he was able to, to absorb the contact and get, get to the basket. Um, he definitely would have been a first ballot Hall of Famer, if you ask me. If, he's, if his career never got taken away from him, he'd have been a first ballot Hall of Famer. MVPs, um, his resume would have been stacked. You know, as I said, I wouldn't know if he won championships because that's a team accomplishment. But him as an individual player, he would have got a lot of individual awards, scoring titles, stuff like that, because he was a flat out beast. And he was actually a beast off the court too, because when his career was over with, they had a, a, shoot, uh, a cookout in Compton. And all of a sudden, the shootout took place. So he's a hero. He dove up on top of his niece, took a couple bullets, two bullets in the leg. And, you know, he saved his niece's life, man. And, you know, he, he recovered. But that goes to show you what type of dude he is, what type of cloth that he's built from, you know. He's a stand-up dude, man. He was a hero on and off the court, man. And I think Brandon Roy, um, he was on pace to be my favorite player, man, because I was watching the guy play. And I was amazed by um, how easy he made it look. You know, he was extremely clutch. He hit a lot of clutch shots. And, man, there was one play where he elevated over a seven-footer and yammed it on him. I was like, yo, that's crazy. You know, a guard doing that was crazy. And man, it's just, a, it's just a shame. You know, you always hit with the what if. What would Brandon Roy's career be if he wasn't injured, man? The dude basically played only five seasons. You could count a sixth season, but he only played five games for that sixth season and call it call it quits. He, he was done at that point. He couldn't even, um, you know, get back to his old Brandon Roy that we was coming to used to. And he was only getting better. He was still in his prime or coming into his prime. He was only five years in the game and already a three-time All-Star. You know, that's crazy, man. Crazy. But what you think Brandon Roy would have been, man? I, I think he would have been the first ballot Hall of Famer and perhaps the NBA champion, depending on what team you build around him. He would have definitely been a finals MVP, number one option, all that other good stuff. But I'll leave it at that, man. Prince Sports out. Peace.